Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I love yoga and plants. Today I want to take you through a new intatine that I found in Amsterdam that seems to have such amazing plants that I already have one to buy. Their collection is really special, so let's go have a look. I'm normally not that interested in planters, but these guys are so adorable. Little sloths. And then some huge alocasia. On this side we have the special philodendrons that I forgot the name of, again, because they were reclassified. I just saw a video about this with Summer Rain. Some huge imperial reds, I think. Seriously big um, strelitzia that are flowering. Imperial greens, philodendron, aglionema, really, really big ones. Some more almost flowering strelitzia. And of course, some fiddly figs. Look at these big asplenium ferns. Whoa! Ah, look, this is my leg. It's twice, almost twice as big as my leg. Some big orbifolia. Some regular anthuriums and peace lilies. Spatophyllum, bigger versions. Ooh, some of the ruby red. Calathea. I always forget the names, the correct names for the Calathea. Calathea Sabrina. Some more different pinstripey ones. Big orbifolias. I just had to show you this Sterlitzia because seriously, it is huge. Huge. Over here, some begonia and some zebrinas, Alocasia zebrina, really big as well. And some of these, what are they called again? I always forget the name. Looks like colocasias, but with the black stem. Let's see. Xanthosoma frozen something. Okay. Some cute colored, I think they're called tinica, which is a Dutch uh, old fashioned name for women. And then of course, these cute, cute, Raphidophora tetrasperma, really big on moss poles. The smaller plant corner, some of the angulata, and these really nice red ones that I don't know the name of. Big raindrop peperomia, pe peperomia polybotria, and the watermelon ones. Oh, and the really, really big. Pylea peperomioides. Trying to walk slow, I'm learning. Peperomia obtusifolia. Lots of mini succulents in this section. And some of the cute Shrek paws that I like. I just like the look of them, I don't need to own them. I found the cactus aisle. Some really big ones as well. And lithops! Oh look! I've never seen them in real life before. This is the first one I've ever seen. Not that I want to buy one, but it's cool to see. Here's some really old looking plants, some euphorbia, more cacti, this is the bigger section. Here are all my favorite steroids, Calathea mosaica, different kinds of Calathea over there and the ferns. Still looking for an Anthurium clarinervium, but I haven't found it yet, so stay tuned. Really nice looking trio star with some beautiful white bits. Here's one as well with an almost white leaf completely. Let me show you. Look at that. And the red undersides. So cool. I love these guys. So I'm carrying with me a 
ring of fire that I found and just had to grab, even though there is quite a few of them, but I love this sort of slightly half moon variegation. More on that later. Let's first finish these huge alocasia. More bigger Calathea mosaica. And the new Calathea with the purple flowers, the croton or whatever it's called. Lots of Epipronym neon and some Monsteras Peru or Carstinianum some pictus skindopsis pictus are these the cebu blues yep and some serious cebu blue so i might have to buy one of those they're not that expensive and quite small so that's good for my house this whole section has such adorable plants now i know my sister-in-law has this one so i'm not gonna buy that but they are really not expensive and they're yeah, really awesome really looking. Really Check out these a, neons yeah, and sonii. No, it's sp it's lots of perus. I'm all, amazed. Um, this one is even bigger looking than the one I got. <gasps> it has a hole already. Wait, Cebu Blues get holes? Fenestrations? Wait, I need to buy this one. Yep. Okay, switching that out for the other one. I am so excited. I absolutely had no idea that Cebu Blues got fenestration. And this one already has it in the miniest leaves. Seriously, I'm screaming all through this shop. More Calathea. I love this colored one. The pink. I'm still looking for the actual um, philodendron neon, but I've only found the epipronym ones, so maybe. This is the place. On this side, these adorable ones. Calatheas. And then more traditional ones. And that's it. I found this living wall that had some plants in there that I just had to ask about. Of course, Clarinerviums. And I already found one and put it in my little baskety thing. Yeah. Look how cool that is. I want one at home. On this side, some more regular houseplants that I still want to show you because it's not all magic and heaven, heavenly philodendron, but yeah. Some pachira, some the palmy ones that I always forget the name of. I think this is some kind of really, really old anthurium but the leaves are really solid it's pretty cool Let's see if i can find the name anthurium it's called anthurium lovely green and it's flowering i'm leaving my bag unattended now because i am too excited about these plants some syngoniums with the pink lines i love them and the more traditional ones begonia more syngoniums, some crotons, and some variation of the maculata. I think this is a different kind of begonia, but mini fiddle leaves. Some petonia. Oh, look, a random Brazil hanging out. Now, this is where I found some of my favorites. Of course, there are some beautiful silvery ends, begonia, and then here starts the madness of the clarinerviums. Look at these colors of the new leaves, begonias, more traditional anthuriums, silvery ends, huge clarinervium, but that's really expensive, so I'm not buying that. On this side, some more traditional anthurium and some cute, I haven't seen these before, but um, rubber trees with pink instead of white. They call them ficus elbelize. 
And this leaf has a half moon variegation. More cool looking begonia and some Anthurium jungle king. Look at that. The roots are insane. I wonder if this is a begonia too. It looks so creepy. Begonia rex. Yeah. Look at those leaves. I hardly, I'm scared to touch it. Some cute, regular philodendron scandens. I still think they are beautiful, even though they're so normal and not special in the rare way. Some lovely tetrasperma. I'm now logging along a cart, so it's a little bit less practical to move. But at least it makes me move a little bit slower, which is good, right? Here, I think this is some kind of variegated... Is it a wizard? Looks like a philodendron white wizard. No, they call it a cobra. So, philodendron cobra. Pretty cool. I'm stalling because on this side I know where the cool plants are. Okay, let's go. This is philodendron subhastatum. I think I always confuse, yes. This one is a little bit more red. Look at that. Back of the leaves are beautiful. New leaf is already unfolding. Oh my God. If you love plants and you're in Amsterdam, come to this shop. Here's a philodendron lemon lime, if I'm correct. Yep, that is beautiful, but a little bit out of my budget at the moment. Look at that, it's just light. And then this looks like squiry firmus. Oh, they call it Florida green over here. So philodendron Florida green, new leaf. I'm not gonna unfold it. The stems are beautifully red little bits on them and the leaves are actually super big look at this that's a very mature leaf then a big asplenium some curly versions of the philodendron philodendron atom the more common marantha tricolor fascinator I left my bag unattended, so I kind of want to go grab it. Okay, I'm back. I just had to grab my bag. It is Amsterdam after all. <laughs> Don't leave your stuff unattended. This is the squarry, squarry firmus or whatever it's called. With the, yes, pretty sure now. I don't know how to pronounce, but I know what it is. And this I thought was the philodendron Florida green, but it's not, it's a different species, a different plant different family. I always confuse what is what. Some of the homolumenia. And then on this side, the hastatum, philodendron hastatum. Some big plants, big stems, so really healthy looking. And the leaves again, super big. Just awesome. I prefer the other one, to be honest. The subhastatum, but I love that the leaves are already showing the ears. The less mature leaves are round. And then the more mature the leaves are, the more it gets the ears and becomes a little bit longer. So I'm sure all my long philodendron lovers like Ashley and Kaylee would love this adult form. Some regular plants. And then I think this is an Aglionema with some cool pink in it. It doesn't say, it just says houseplant. Some curcuma that I have in the garden and some Birkins. This shop is famous for having its own Birkin collection, which I haven't seen anywhere else in Holland, to be honest. So, yep, and not very expensive. Some more Hastatum. Some more, these guys, Raphidophora tetrasperma. I only have the leaves about this size right now, so I have to wait a little bit longer. And then some mini red, imperial red. What are you? <gasps> what? Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. 
Holy shit. But they don't have much variegation. This one does a little bit. Can I afford to buy a plant, a pink princess, in a regular plant shop? Are you kidding me right now? I've wanted one of these for ages. I just don't see much pink in them. And I don't think it will come after. What do you think? Holy shit. I'm freaking out right now. I thought I recognized it because it looks so much smaller than the philodendron imperial red. This one. It has to be this one because it looks the best. Or should I wait for something to come across my path with more pink? What do you think? Let me see your... No pink at all in these ones. Okay. <gasps> what the hell? I'm not, I wasn't planning on buying any plants. Right now I have three in my basket. No, four. <laughs> I have one Clarinervium. I have one Pink Princess. I have one Philodendron. <laughs> Florida. No, Philodendron. Ring of Fire. And a Cebu Blue with variegation, with fenestration. Fuck me, this place is amazing. <laughs> My hands are a little bit unsteady right now from the amazing plants I found. I can't wait to show you. Now this is what I expect in garden centers, more of the philodendron imperial red, some big xanadu, some imperial, ooh, imperial green, imperial red, hastatum, some of these. more strelitzia and huge adansonia check out this leaf and some huge imperial reds as well beautiful new leaves unfolding on this side some raphidophora tetrasperma some really big begonia but i want to go over to this corner because here is the ring of fire corner I've never seen these in a regular shop before. So now you can tell me if you agree with my choice. This one has a little bit of beautiful variegation. This one has a nice tip of variegation. This one just has the mini tip. And then these ones, this one seems to have a really, really yellow leaf. So that might be a cool pick, but it was cut off. So it might've browned, but it does have a new leaf. Oh shit. What do I pick? And then this other plant also has quite good variegation. Actually, this also looks amazing. Let's compare. No, I think I'm gonna stick with my first pick. So I have this one that has almost half white leaves in the future. And the other one has some bits. This one has more like minty green and one point of growth that's really white oh this might be worth it just for this leaf to see what's unfolding here and then give it away to someone now this one also has a new leaf unfolding that looks pretty cool look this is all gonna be white or yellow in the beginning and the tips are beautiful sorry if the filming is not very steady my hands are shaking <laughs> from finding all of these plants here is a cute square ferman whatever it's pronounced with a new point of growth and a really big um i don't know what these are called when they're not variegated actually can you tell me some oh, what are you let me check Green Beauty Philodendron. The leaves are very cool. They're a little bit different looking than the regular Imperial Green leaves. Very beautiful colors. Some more Imperial Reds. I'm coming to the bigger section, bigger plant section. More of the lovely colored Belize rubber trees and big Tetraspermas. On this side, the smaller plants. I just bought these a few days ago. The Peperomia prostrata or string of purple turtles. 
some cute variegated plants. What are you? Oh, and it never says in this section. They're just mini plants. The touch plants that I'm not gonna try with anymore. The freshly watered fern section. That looks lovely. Crocodile ferns, really, really big leaves. Some orchids. Some maiden air ferns. Gotta show you something normal, right? Otherwise you get bored with rare plants. <laughs> Ooh, some cool spatophyllum orchids, I think. No. Pathiopetalum. Pathiopetalum orchids with really cool leaves. I haven't seen these before. Another cool section with the... I always forget the name of these, but they're not the polys, but the other one. Sarian? Sarian? Alocasia? The stingrays? Lots of philodendron Brazil over here. Let's go check. Maybe they have the philodendron neon. Lovely. My boyfriend always complains that my plants are all the same and why do you need to buy ones that look very similar? Aglionema. I think they all deserve a place in my collection. He doesn't though. Some huge of these Sarian alocasia. Again, I'm leaving my bag unattended, which is very stupid, but look, flowering elephant's ear, elephant's ears? Yeah, the regular alocasia. Oh, I might have a heart attack over here. Aglionema. Ah, the Wentii. Aglionema. The Marble Queens over here. What is this? This looks very much like a VGI. That would kill me. I can't afford it though, because that's a big one. This is called Anthurium Cascade. Tell me that doesn't look like a VGI. It's just a bit more shiny, I think. The ribs are stunning. More Marble Queens. Some smaller of these Lucumara that I always forget to, to pronounce. Regular Anthuriums. Gosh, they are killing me. Some cute little polys. Or maybe Bambinos, I think they're called. They look like polys, but they're smaller. And more Brazil. Lots of bromeliads that I wanted to show you, even though I don't like them. I wonder if these are created with that um, spray stuff that makes pink Congos pink. Because that looks kind of fake almost. Some raven zizis. More aglionema. Some zebrinas. Some actual polys and more huge alocasia, Diefenbachia. Ah, something I have actually <laughs> marble, the regular pothos or a peperinum aureum. It's good that they have some regular plants as well. I'm scared to look because I feel like I'm gonna discover new amazing plants around every corner. Lots of Wentii, big Sabrinas, some huge pitcher plants, really, really big ones, and mini philodendron, scandens, more of the string of turtles, and something else string. Doesn't say Phytonia, Euphorbias, soft little maidenhair ferns, <laughs> mini begonias. Trying to move slow. Oh, found some more lithops. IRL. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
philodendron enjoy. That looks cool. What is that? banana plants. In the orchid section there are some really cool different looking orchids and I found these guys that smell really strong. Our cold Mastavalia. I think they're a kind of orchid but I'm not quite sure anymore. Oh these colors! Whoa it's gorgeous! Bella Valia magic moment. It's a little bit busy right now, so I'm just hiding in here to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this collection here at Intrata in Amsterdam. And let me know if you go here because of this video. I'm so excited. Ah, see you next week. Bye.